In this short video, I want to show you how to calculate the inside volume of a tank, and in this case at a specific fuel level. This is a, a fuel tank off of a lawn mowing machine. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to determine where the fill line is. Where is it at when it's completely full? So I'm going to go to a front view here, and I'm going to use my line command. And I'm just going to sketch a line on the front plane. So to lock to the front plane, I can just do F3. That locks me onto the front plane, and I'm just going to sketch a line straight across and make sure I intersect the tank. Now if you want to specify exactly where that line is, um, you could add a dimension. So let's add a smart dimension from the bottom of the tank up to that line. And let's make it 365. So that's representing the fuel line. That's the, when we consider this tank uh, completely full, that's the level. So uh, from there, I want to create a surface. So we'll go to a surfacing. We'll create an extruded surface using that sketch. Now I want to use the option to go in both directions because I want to make sure I go all the way through the tank in both directions. And so that's, again, representative of the level of the fuel that's inside the tank. Now to get the fuel as a solid inside the tank, we have a nice command here called intersect in the surfacing tab. And the option that we want is to create design bodies. If we read the prompt, it says click on the intersecting surfaces or solid. So let's click on these two, the solid and the surface. And solid edge comes up and shows us that we have a void region, which is representative of the fuel line. It's also splitting the solid, the tank, into three uh, solid uh, regions, and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to uncheck these. I don't actually want it to split the, the tank into different bodies. And so I'll accept that. And so now if we look at our Pathfinder, we have two design bodies. We have our construction. I'll turn that off. You can hide our PMI. If I double click this, then that becomes active. That's the active body. Um, I can hide the design body. So that's the fuel. That's representative of the fuel in the tank. As a matter of fact, let's go and change the color. Let's make it yellow. And then if we show, if we display our design body, you can see the the fuel level inside the tank. Now we want to calculate what the amount of fuel is. So to do that I will go to inspect. Actually before I do that let's set the, the uh, correct file units. We'll go into units and we, what we're looking for is the volume which is mil cubic millimeters. In this case I don't want that. I want to know how many liters uh, this tank will hold. If you're in the U.S., you could set it to gallons. I'm going to set it to liters. And then I'm going to do an inspect and then measure and make sure this is set on solid bodies. Select our solid and it's going to come up and give us the volume of 30.607 liters. So that's what that tank's capacity is uh, when we consider it full.